Hello everyone, this is Aman Qureshi from Paitha India. In this course of CatBit, I'll teach you how to use CatBit right from the basics to the advanced level. In our very first video, we will start from the basic cabinet which you guys have already learned from Python's beginner tutorial. First of all, I'll help you to make your CatBit account and then generate your very first material quotation using CatBit. We'll also learn to make quotation based on groups and individual items. And at last, we will learn how to optimize panel for this particular cabinet. It's going to be fun while we learn, so let's get started. So this is the cabinet which you guys have learned from Python's beginner tutorial. Now we will take it a step forward and we will learn how to generate quotation from this cabinet. In order to generate quotation from this cabinet, all the parts of this cabinet need to have specific information. Information such as product category, product article code, and the code material. Now all these informations are called as Python attributes. We can assign all these three attributes in one time using Python's material palette. So now let us learn about material palette. So I go to attributes and I go to material palette. Now this palette can be used to make your material library with different colors, with different shades and different attributes. So let us make our first palette. So I will go to manage. And I will say new. I will name my palette as for 18mm board. Now this name is just for your search filter. It has nothing to do with the quotation. So I will click OK. In this palette, I say I don't want to use layer. I want to use article code. Now you can make your own custom article code. In my case, I will use a combination of thickness, core material and the color description i say i don't need it construction type yes construction type i say as panel you can name your own construction type construction type can also be called as category density no need core material yes and the core material is marine ply i don't need core hatching not the price i need the color the material so i will click on browse and i will choose a blue color I don't need pen, I don't need face coating, not the edge banding as well. And I will just click on save. Now if you see my first palette is ready and now I will just apply it. So I click on OK. And now Vita is asking me where do I want to apply this palette on which panels. So I will use a filter of equal thickness and I will choose one board which is of 18mm and Vita will automatically select all the boards which is 18mm. Since my back is 8mm so it has not been selected. I will click OK and I will press enter. So all my cabinet has turned into blue and all the other attributes have also been applied. Now I will have to make one more material palette for my back since it is 8mm. So I will go back to material palette once again. And this time I say I want to make a copy of this. And in the copy I say instead of 18mm for 8mm. I say OK and same i just want to change the article code also rest remains the same i click on save i say okay now this time i will just come and select the back and i say enter so now all the materials have been applied to the cabinet and also our material palette is ready so next time whenever you make a cabinet all you have to do is just select from the palette and apply it now, once you are done with applying all the attributes to the cabinet, all you have to do is make a part list and generate a quotation. So you have to just visit catbit.com and you will come to the landing page of catbit. To make a new account, just click on get started and it will take you to a sign up page. Enter your email address, your name and password and just click on continue. Now catbit will send you a verification email on your email address. So all you have to do is just open the email and click on confirm my email and you will be redirected to the catbit page here you have to enter your password which you have just used and just click on continue the moment you click on continue you will be automatically logged in into the catbit account and you will be on the configuration page so here let us quickly add the basic configuration So now very first we will have to make a product category that we are selling something called as panels. So for that I will go to setup. I will go to product category. 
and I will make a category name as panel. I can also give a description to this category which will appear in my reports. So I say this is this is panel and boards. I can assign a unit that I can also define a unit which means whenever something is coming from Python under the name of panel category should always be calculated on per square feet. Okay. I also say that this category panel should be used for optimization. So I say yes. Rest of the things we will learn later when it is required. At the moment I will just click on save. Now making just a product category is not enough. We will have to add products also inside. So we have made two product entries. One is for 18 mm, one is for 8 mm. So I will again go to setup. I will go to product and this time I will say I want to add a product 18 underscore mp underscore blue for this article code the category is panels i can also define vendor code description and color these fields are not mandatory but if you fill it here it will show up in your reports so i will quickly fill it up so i say vendor code is 1001 description i can say this is from merino color i say this is blue code material is important i say it is marine ply and the thickness is 18. I can define three level of pricing here standard price, dealer price, super dealer price. You can of course change these labels and you can change it to anything. I will use it as my standard price as 500 rupees. The dealer price is 300 and the super dealer price is 200. Now I can also define adjacent code for this panel category boats which will calculate my taxation. Now to check what is the adjacent code for boats, we will just take help from the Google. HSN code for panels. So it's 8573 and the taxation for this is 18%. So I will just come to product master. First we will have to set up an adjacent. So I go to setup. I go to HSN and here I will put that code as 8537. You can add a description. This code is for panels, wooden items. You can define a type and you can define a tax percentage. So I say whenever there is a product with HSN code as 8537, always calculate 18% as a tax. I will just click on save. I will come back to my product master and all I have to do is make a refresh. Now I will just click on the HSNS 8537. I will choose a procurement whether it is my in-house item or I am procuring it from a vendor or this is something which customer take care of himself. So at the moment I say this is my in-house item and I will just click on save now. So we have added for 18 mm board we will same way we will add one more entry for 8 mm board for that i can just click on new button and i will add the same materials and i will click on save once again so now we have successfully made the catbit account we have also made a product category and we have also added products inside it now let us quickly make our first customer and generate our first quotation to make a customer, I will just go to setup. I go to customer and I will add my first customer here. And for this customer, I can decide whether this customer should be calculated on standard price, dealer price or super dealer price. I will just click on save now. And now we will just go back to Python and generate our first quotation. So this is the cabinet. Now in order to generate quotation for this cabinet, all I have to do is just click on this part list. So when you click on part list, a default template will open up, but we don't need this template. We need a part list in particular catbit template. So to download that template, just go to catbit.com and just go to the bit page and you can download the template from here. Let's come back to Python again and this time I will click on new list or I can click on this button as well. Now Python is asking me which parts do you want in the list. I say all of the parts. I press enter and I say I have a template and I want to select that. And I will choose the catbit template and I say open. Now after generating the part list all I have to do is just click on this bit button. For those who don't have this button you will have to install an application 
and the link to the application I will mention in the description below but before making a bid I would want to enter the customer name in the project header so I go to main I go to project header and I will write my customer name in the line one I'll say okay now I go to part list and I will click on the bid this will automatically take my drawing to CAD bit and generate a quotation for me so this cabinet is for 7712 and also I have a green tick here now this green tick is very important as it gives you a confirmation that all the parts which are coming from Python has been calculated by CAD bit if you miss something if there is some error in the part it will give you in red error here now to generate the reports just click on the report and I will first say the consolidated report so this is just a summary report of the category that there is a category called as panel and boards these are the materials used inside and this is the price for that particular category this is the GST amount and this is the net total amount now if you want to see the individual breakup of both the materials all you have to do is just click on all category report and now it says 18 mm blue is 11 square feet and this is the price for 18 mm board and 8 mm ply is 1.92 square feet and this is the price for that board now if you want to check it cabinet wise pricing then we have a report called as item wise report so now i will just minimize it and click on item wise quotation now in this quotation i have a complete cabinet of this size quantity one and this is the price for the cabinet this is the tax and this is the amount now we will quickly go back to python and make a copy and make a copy of this cabinet and this time I will increase the cabinet size from 600 to 900 I will say extend I will change it to more 300 this time I have two cabinets one is of 600 one is of 900 I will just go back to part list once again say new list select exactly all parts select template cat bit template open I have the part list ready here and all I have to do is just click on the bid button so the price has been calculated for two cabinets and it is 19,000 now to view the reports I will just go to report tab item wise quotation and I have two cabinets of this size and this size and this is the price for two cabinets and if you see the price is changing respectively with the sizes also if I want to push these two cabinets to production now I need to know how many boards I will require at the factory to make these two cabinets so for that we will just click on optimization and I say please run the optimization to check how many boards are required to make these two cabinets so for 18 mm material I will require one board and for 8 mm material I will as well require one board to see the cutting layout I will just click on report and I say please show me the optimization output and it will exactly tell you how to cut the board and same way with the back as well you can also generate the part labels for this so just click on part labels and also the part labels will come up we will learn in the next videos how to configure these labels add more information to it and customize it according to your need so we'll learn more about different products with different categories such as hardware accessories linears in the next videos till then bye bye see you in the next video